Hi guys, time for art. So this week we are going to learn about an African American artist named Alma Thomas. Sorry about that. Um, Alma Thomas was born in 1891. She passed away in 1978. Um, she was born in Georgia and moved to Washington, D.C. when she was 16 years old. Um, one of the reasons why she moved to Washington, D.C. was her parents wanted her to continue her education. And because she was black down in the South in Georgia, um, she wasn't allowed to go past grade school. So she was only allowed to go to school for a short amount of time. And they wanted her to continue her education. So they moved to Washington, D.C., which is really amazing for those times. Um, she is now recognized as one of the uh, a major American painter. She's amazing. <laughs> um, if you look at the videos that I put on the classroom, you will see some of the artwork she did. It's really cool. I think you'll like it. Um, she's known for her colorful abstract paintings. She created, uh, she didn't start creating her, her paintings until after she retired from teaching art for 35 years. So she didn't start to become a professional full-time painter until she was 68 years old. Pretty amazing. She was the first graduate of Howard University's art department. The first ever. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, and in 2015, President Obama wanted Alma's painting to hang in the White House in the dining room. Um, so she was the first African-American woman to have her art hanging in the White House and is now part of their permanent collection. It's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to show you some examples that I made of Alma's work. And this one is, is one of them. This is my interpretation of one of her paintings. Here is another one. Okay. And this one actually is very similar to the one that's in the White House. Very similar. And this one I made. So, I got a white piece of paper I'm going to start with. I have different colored paper that I ripped up and I have glue. So, I'm going to start with a shape and it can be any shape you want unless you want to do the lines that Alma made. She also just did some lines. So, it's up to you if you want to do the lines or if you want to start with a shape. I think I'm going to start with a square. That's not a perfect square, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. I just ripped the edges. And I'm going to put it on my paper. I think I'll put it and do it different. Maybe I'll do it start down here. Why not, right? Anywhere you want. Then I'm going to put some glue around it. I'm going to pick some colors, maybe some pink. Maybe I'll rip them even smaller because some of them, some of them can be skinnier and some of the papers can be fatter. It's up to you. Pardon my family. My husband is teaching today. Ta 
talking to his students. That's who you hear in the background, I'm sure. So then I'm going to do another layer. Hmm, what color? Something bright. Very bright. Alma's artwork was very, very bright. She used lots of great colors. Um, oranges and yellows and blues and really, really pretty. So you're going to continue doing this all the way to the outside. Until you fill up your whole paper. Now Alma worked on canvas because she did this with paint. So she actually painted all these little, all the little pieces. Um, she used paint. So we're going to, we're doing, obviously doing paper. So we're going to keep continuing and continuing, working outward and outward, using whatever colors that you want. It's up to you. Okay. When you get to the edges, you can trim it off, like I did there. Or, if you like it rough, you can leave the edges hanging off like that. It's up to you. Okay? So that's it. Enjoy. <laughs> um, have a good day, and I miss you.